Yo, what is up YouTube? Lee the Captain here, and I believe that ApeCoin is crazy. And no, I'm not talking about Britney Spears at all, because I believe that ApeCoin during the next bull run could hypothetically at least go to the price of $50 and have such a crazy bull run. And of course, that's all financial advice and that's not a guarantee. But in today's video, I want to explain several reasons why I believe that could very well happen. And a major reason why I think that could happen, I think is going to boil down to the rock solid, that's what she said, fundamentals of the other side metaverse, which in my opinion is going to be the major driving force behind ApeCoin moving forward. And when it comes to other side, in my opinion, when it finally becomes up and running, I think that it's ready to revolutionize the whole metaverse scene overall. And why do I say this? Because when it comes to other side, visually, it looks completely different from the rest of the competition. A lot of other metaverses out there, they're tacky, they have bad graphics, and they're just pretty much useless the way I take a look at it. But that's completely not the case when it comes to other side. Graphics look A+, it looks very fun to play, and it's very enticing. I think it's ready to revolutionize the metaverse scene. And for the metaverse critics out there, they like to say that, oh, you know, the metaverse has no future ahead. I completely disagree because according to McKinsey, the metaverse could reach $5 trillion in value by 2030. You got to let that sink in, right? 2030, it's not even that far away at this point. We're nearing 2024 as of right now, which is crazy to think about. You know, I felt like the past couple of years has flown by very fast. But yeah, besides that point, I think this, if anything, visualizes just how insanely massive the metaverse could be in such a relatively short amount of time. I think that its future growth can't be underestimated. And I think that when it does grow moving forward, I think so will amazing metaverses, much like the other side. I think the future of other side could look so bright. And also, let's not forget, ApeCoin has a very fast and growing community. For instance, it currently has over 100 30,000 holders, which I find very impressive. You know, clearly a lot of people still have great conviction in the future of ApeCoin because they're not being paper handed, you know what, they're diamond handing and something that really gets me enthusiastic and excited, that's what she said for the future of ApeCoin is the fact that they have their very own NFT marketplace, which I think is a very genius move by the way, because according to Grandview Research, over the next seven years, the NFT market is expected to be worth over $211 billion, which by the way, is bigger than some countries GDP. I mean, that's a very crazy figure right there. So the NFT market, in my opinion, is no joke. It's something not to be taken lightly. At least that's the way I take a look at it. I think that by ApeCoin launching its very own NFT marketplace, I think that if anything showcases how they understand where a lot of the potential is at. And now with that being said, some people, they may be wondering, what is a major catalyst which could very well allow ApeCoin to hypothetically attain the price of $50 during the next bull run? And a major catalyst, in my opinion, which I think could very well allow for that to happen, is the fact that the next bull run could be so legendary because as of right now, there is more people than ever before in history owning cryptos. As a matter of fact, when compared to the 2021 bull run at that time, there was actually over 100 million less crypto owners than today. So you got to let that sink in, right? The 2021 bull run already looked that impressive with that many less people owning cryptos. So you got to imagine what the next bull run will look like, especially now that we insert over 100 million new crypto owners. I mean, man, when there's this many people owning cryptos, in my opinion, during the next bull run, the FOMO, buying pressure, buying volume, and as well as the altcoin season, I think all of that could be so ridiculous. And I think that when altcoins start rallying during the next bull run, I think so will ApeCoin. So when I take that into consideration, and when I take into consideration just how amazing ApeCoin is, I don't see why ApeCoin during the next bull run won't hypothetically at least go to the price of $50. At least that's the way I view it. And now, with that being said, am I just randomly dumping all in when it comes to ApeCoin just based off of what a guru says? No, I'm not doing that whatsoever. What I'm doing is I am dollar cost averaging. A lot of people out there, they make a video on ApeCoin, but then all they do is that they pull up a chart, they draw a random triangle. I don't know if they're trying to draw their grandma's G-string or their grandma's thong or something like that, but it looks completely ridiculous. And then based off of this triangle, they say, oh, you got a long here, you got a short here, you got a day trade, you got a swing trade, you got to use leverage. 
But personally for me, I don't bother with any of that type of stuff. First of all, it creates a lot of unnecessary anxiety and stress. And a lot of people that I know that do that, they often get wrecked, which is why I don't do that. I like to keep it simple through dollar cost averaging. And by dollar cost averaging, what I'm doing is that I am accumulating on a consistent basis over an extended period of time. So anytime I earn any sort of income, I set aside some for ApeCoin. It doesn't matter if the price of ApeCoin is pumping or dumping that day. It doesn't matter. I just accumulate anyways. I'm quite essentially putting those horse blinders on and I'm just focused on time in the market as opposed to timing the market, if that makes sense. By consistently acquiring ApeCoin on a set schedule, I think that I am preparing myself for the next bull run in such a fantastic way. I'm not focused on the short to medium term price movements. I'm focused on the next bull run. And I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if ApeCoin during the next bull run did hypothetically at least go to the price of $50 and during the process make all of those ApeCoin critics come running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and start begging for that used Broadworth extender Taylor Swift edition. If you know, you know. Taylor Swift why is she dating Travis Kelsey? What is that about? You know, that relationship, in my opinion, is probably not going to last that long. But yeah, besides that point, I'm extremely bullish on ApeCoin. I think ApeCoin is a sleeping giant. That's what she said. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video, and I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch you all in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.